Cricket is suddenly captivating the U.S. as it makes a surprising run in the T20 Cricket World Cup. We're talking to Aaron Jones, one of the stars of the U.S. team. Plus, Shannon Sharp signed an extension with ESPN, and a 1983 basketball team wants compensation for its NIL rights. It's Wednesday, June 12th. I'm Owen Poindexter, and this is Front Office Sports Today. A year after he is pushed out of FS1's Undisputed, Shannon Sharp has a new multi-year deal with ESPN. Sharp has been a regular presence on First Take with Stephen A. Smith and Molly Kiram since August. He was on a one-year deal with ESPN so that both sides could see if the relationship was working out, and it's safe to say it has. First Take was already the dominant morning sports talk show before Sharp arrived, but May was the show's best viewership month ever. As for Sharp, he sounds thrilled to be there. In addition to an expanded role at first take, Sharp will be a presence on other ESPN shows as well and hinted that he might make appearances at major sporting events like the SEC Championship game or the College Football National Championship. While it's unclear if Stephen A is going anywhere anytime soon, I tend to think he's going to stay at first take for the foreseeable future, signing Sharp gives ESPN a potential replacement should Smith move on. These days, everyone is looking to cash in on their NIL rights, including a group of people in their 60s. NC State's 1983 basketball team, nicknamed the Cardiac Pack, is suing the NCAA on the claim that the governing organization continues to profit off their name, image, and likenesses of the 41-year-old team without providing compensation. The Cardiac Pack is a classic Cinderella story. The sixth-seeded team came out of nowhere to win the national title on a buzzer-beating dunk, and the NCAA still uses that footage when it's building hype around March Madness. Now, a group of 10 players is requesting a jury trial against the NCAA and the collegiate licensing company seeking fair compensation for their NIL rights. Often, these sorts of cases settle out of court, but if the players get a favorable ruling here, it could set some interesting precedents around the use of highlights as an NIL issue. And finally, I'm a fan of making the whole week around your birthday a celebration because why try to contain the fun to just one day? It seems Christian McCaffrey is too. The star running back turned 28 on Friday, three days after signing a two-year $38 million contract extension with the 49ers, and four days before being unveiled as the cover athlete of Madden 25. Not a bad way to treat yourself. All right, very excited to be joined now by Aaron Jones, batter for the U.S. national cricket team. Welcome, Aaron. Hi, how are you? Happy to be here. Great to have you on. Um, so you are, you're from Queens, correct? Um, how old were you when you started playing cricket? Well, I was born in Queens, but um, my parents relocated to Barbados when I was like maybe around three, four years old. Oh, okay. And so I learned majority of my grassroots in Barbados as a relationship to cricket. Um, I would say I started playing cricket around maybe probably like seven, seven mm -hmm. years old. And um, yeah. 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 And I noticed that the, the Cricket World Cup, while well, it's happening in New York and Dallas and Florida, there's also a number of games in, in the West Indies. Um, and I'll, I'll admit my ignorance here. How big is cricket in, in Barbados and in the surrounding islands? <laughs> um, in Barbados, cricket is the biggest sport. In the Caribbean, I would say cricket is the biggest sport. Um, probably like how, I don't know, probably baseball or mm -hmm. maybe American football is in America. Um, that's how cricket is in the Caribbean. It's very big. So even if you don't want to play um, professionally and stuff, everybody as a kid, we just play in the road or probably just play at school with your friends or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, how big an opportunity do you think there is? And obviously it's starting to grow, but in terms of being a professional cricket player, you know, outside of India, Pakistan, you know, maybe the, the UK, um, in the Americas, um, how, how big is the opportunity there? I mean, I think it's really big, to be honest with you. I think America is a place where people love sports. And um, we have so many fans in America as it relates to, like, all the expats and stuff like that. And really and truly, I think that with this World Cup being in America right now, um, it's only going to open the eyes and ears of Americans. And then I think shortly they'll be coming on board to support us for sure. And um, yeah, it's just going to grow every day from here, to be honest. Yeah. And what kind of reception have you gotten, you know, playing games in New York of, you know, for, for this tournament in a, you know, a sport that I think Americans have heard of, but, you know, not everyone knows the rules or has necessarily ever watched a cricket match before. So, yeah. What, what's it been like, you know, playing these these World Cup games here? 
I mean, it's been really good to be honest. Uh, I've been getting like crazy messages and um, phone calls and stuff from a lot of people that are obviously who live in America and born and raised in America, and um, they want they're they're very interested in um, getting to know about the sport, getting to know where we are playing. They want to get on board as it relates to watching a lot more and stuff. So it's really good and. Sometimes when we go on the streets and stuff like that, if we have any cricket shirt on or anything to do with like US cricket, they ask questions. Sometimes when we fly, to be honest with you, they ask questions, they follow our social media pages, and stuff like that. So I think right now we're on the up as it relates to getting the knowledge out there about um, cricket in, in America for sure. And it's only going to get better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And have you felt, um, and you know, with the, I know this is a different thing, but with the Olympics, you know, there's some. Um, um, American athletes that are still looking for funding, you know, to get to Paris and support them when they're there. Um, what's the situation like in, in cricket? Do you feel like you have all the backing you need right now to, you know, for the U.S. to put up a competitive team, but also to continue to grow the sport? Yeah, I mean, I think it's been getting better over the last couple of years. Um, it's been only getting better. Um, and as I say, like this country is a country who that, that really and truly loves sports. So I don't think the backing and, and everything that we need to go forward as a professional team um, is going to be lacking, to be honest with you. I think things are just going to get better and better from here for sure, especially starting with this World Cup. And then in a few years, obviously, um, next Olympics, then um, cricket will be um, included in the Olympics. So I think that's really, really big thing, to be honest. Mm hmm. And of course, we also have Major League Cricket is in its, uh, its or it's about to start its second season in the U.S. Um, what do you think it's going to mean for you know, for the U.S. to have its own cricket league as it gets more and more established? I think it's really good. Um, last year was the first year and it was like really, really good. Like, I think it was actually way better than a lot of people expected because obviously people still don't see U.S. as a cricket country. But um I think it was really good last year, and I think it's only going to get better. I think um, I think maybe next year or year after, it's supposed to add a few more franchises as well. So it's going to be more games. And um, yeah, it's only going to get better from here. I think a lot of Americans going to come out and support for sure, especially um, this year. And then it's only going to grow from there, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. And do you think all the growth right now is in T20 cricket, you know, or is there still room for, you know, traditional cricket that can take, you know, multiple days? Um, for me personally, I think it's a bit of it's a bit of both. Um, if you are somebody that you don't know anything about cricket or don't have much knowledge about cricket, I think you'll enjoy the shorter format a lot more. It's a lot more exciting. But for the people that really and truly know about cricket already, um, although they enjoy T Twenty cricket and T Ten cricket and stuff like that, I think that we all have some love for the five day cricket, which is Test cricket. It's hard to not love Test cricket, to be honest. If you really and truly or born and raised into cricket, but um, for people like yourself that don't know much about cricket, I think that you'll enjoy the shorter formats a lot more. It's a lot more exciting. Mm -hmm. And uh, the U.S. had this, you know, it, uh, the, I think the Cricket World Cup was already starting to get attention just because it's, you know, in major U.S. cities. I think what really turned people's heads was when the the team beat Pakistan, which is a major upset. And uh, how do you think just that one game changed the perception of U.S. cricket? I mean, I think, um, to be honest with you, um, it was on the cards for a little while. Uh, we've been doing good over the last couple of weeks, or um, probably over the last couple of months, I should say. Um, before the World Cup started, we, 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 we beat, it, uh, we beat um, Bangladesh in a series, and then we also beat um, Canada in a series as well. So we've been doing well over the last couple of months. And um, to be honest to you, I think we as a team, we come from a lot of different places in the world. And uh, we play, we all play cricket differently, but when we get on the field, it's one team and one goal. And I think that's one strength of um, the team, to be honest to you. And for me personally, I always believe that we could be any team in the world. We just have to play fearless cricket. We just have to play smart cricket. And once we give 110%, I think that we could be anybody in the world. So. Yeah, Pakistan was really good, and um, I hope that we could just continue to do really well and, you know, bring home the cut to USA. Yeah, and what's the the culture like inside the U.S. national cricket team? I, I only asked because, um, you know, cricket's a sport, you know, it's associated with, with India and Pakistan, the U.K., uh, the West Indies, but usually not, you know, someone who was you know, born and raised in the U.S., um, and so I'm wondering if if the team itself, you know, is is sort of pulling from different 
um, cultural traditions, both within the game and outside the game? Um, yes, I could say that. Uh, majority of the team actually and um, really and truly like learn all the cricket stuff outside the U.S. And then um, they relocated to U.S. or whatever the case it be, and then that how's it get on the team and stuff like that. But we have, I think, um, we have four people on the team that are actually born in USA. Three of them raised in USA, and um, obviously they have parents from outside the U.S. So yeah, it's a bit of fifty fifty on that one to be honest. But the culture is good. Um, we all we are all actually happy that we could really and truly bring knowledge from Pakistan, from India, from the Caribbean, from New Zealand, from all over the world, and just bring it together in one team. And that's that's one of our strengths for sure. Yeah, I mean, it, it is one of those moments of like you know the the strength and diversity, and you're bringing different styles, different different backgrounds, but you're united by this one thing. Um, do you think in in a way that um, it's you're you're a stronger team because you're you're pulling from from so many different countries. Yeah, I think it's it's really and truly a strength for us. Um so say for instance we are playing against I don't know Pakistan or India or I don't know South Africa. Um majority of the players on that team would have came up um from like young playing a certain style of cricket and playing on um a certain style of wickets and stuff like that. We know we come from all over the world. So it's really and truly a strength because I could give some knowledge about Caribbean stuff. Another guy could give some knowledge about Indian stuff, about Pakistani stuff, about South Africa stuff, whatever it gives be. And then we all come together and see what's best for the team as it relates to planning and stuff. So I think it's a really good thing, to be honest with you. And I think we're going to really and truly do well in this workup and even after the workup. And how does the Caribbean style differ from, you know, maybe Indian, Pakistan, New Zealand? What, what makes the Caribbean style unique? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it all depends on where you're from, to be honest. Um, what we call the pitches or the wicket, um, all the surfaces around the world are different. So it forces you as a batsman or as a bowler to bowl differently. Um, but normally, majority of the guys from the Caribbean are power hitters. Um, so we, we hit a lot of boundaries compared to um, guys from other, other parts of the world, to be honest. So that's, that's really and truly one of our strengths. We hit a lot of boundaries easily. And you've got a huge matchup against India coming up. What are you anticipating for, for that one? I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be a close game. I think both both teams are pretty strong. And um, um, we have a lot of experience on both teams. Um, I think it's going to be a really good game, to be honest. I think at the end of the day, whichever team hold the pressure the best, whichever team um, give 110%, will we'll definitely come out on top. And just before you go, what what's if you could have sort of one wish for cricket and its growth in the U.S., what would be your wish? Um, I'd say I'd, I'll I'll wish that um, Americans are really and truly come on board a lot more as it relates to supporting uh, the U.S. team, as it relates to getting to know more about cricket, as it relates to um, maybe getting cricket in the schools all around the country. Um, so yeah, that, I think that's going to be really good um, to really and truly feedback with you. Grassroots is really, really important. Like us, we can, we can't play cricket forever. Um, so we need some people to really and truly take up after us. Um, so it's very important to really and truly get cricket. Um, Americans starting cricket from a young age. I think that's one wish of mine for sure. And then just to see US cricket and cricket on a whole grow um, in this part of the world for sure. Aaron Jones, I know it's a busy time for you. Thank you so much for joining us on the show and good luck for the rest of the tournament. Thank you so much. That's it for today. Make sure you're subscribed to Front Office Sports Today on YouTube and your favorite podcast app or send this episode to a friend who is now a big cricket fan. Thanks for listening. We will see you tomorrow.